Hello, my friends. I welcome all of you back to my Southern Kitchen and the sixth episode of Ellen's Fall Baking Series 2023. It's that time of the year, my friends. Grab your basket. It's time to go apple picking. So today's recipe, I'm going to share with all of y'all this amazing apple dessert, caramel apple bunk cake. And my friends, it is so simple and easy to make. The bomb.com delicious. We're going to drizzle it on top with a homemade caramel glaze. Mm -mm. How yummy does that sound? And the best part, we're going to use a spice cake mix, but we're going to dot it up and add in some other ingredients and it's going to taste like you made it completely from scratch. Everybody's going to love and enjoy this and perfect for fall season. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And for more apple and pound cake recipes, check out my apple and pound cake recipes playlist and my previous video, fried sweet potato pies. I'll post a link to those down below in the description box. So grab your cake mix, get them apples peeling and your bun pan sugar because we're about to bake some caramel apple bun cake magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go. All right, my friends, the first thing we're going to do is prep our apples. I have three large Granny Smith apples, or you can use Golden Delicious or Cortland, Macintosh, whatever your heart desire. We're going to peel them, core them, and dice them. So we're going to take one of our apples, and I like to quarter them first and then peel them, or you could do it the other way. I'm going to gently place my apple using my apple cord like so and we're going to remove the center and using my paring knife we're going to gently peel the skin off and be very careful keep your fingers out the way and then i'm going to dice them up like so perfect chunks Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and finish dicing up my apples and I'll bring you back. Alrighty, my friends, I'm through dicing up my apples and I place them into my bowl. So now we're going to add in one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. It will prevent the apples from turning brown and give them flavor. And stir this in until it's well blended. So now we're going to set the apples aside while we work on the dry ingredients. In my medium bowl, we're going to add in a one 15.25 ounce box of spice cake mix. One cup each of white sugar and all purpose flour. And one teaspoon each of baking soda, salt, and ground cinnamon. And we're going to whisk the dry ingredients together until they're well combined. So now we're going to set the dry ingredients aside while we work on the wet ingredients. In my stand mixer with the powder attachment, we're going to add in four extra large eggs. One cup of full fat sour cream going to make the cake nice and moist one cup of applesauce and one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract and we're going to mix all of these together until they're well incorporated and my speed is on medium Alrighty, now we're going to add in the dry ingredients alternately with one cup of apple juice. Oh yes, this cake is going to be apple licious And all my wet ingredients are nice and cold. We're going to begin and end with the dry ingredients. Always end with the dry ingredients to get a nice tender cake.
last of the apple juice and last of the dry ingredients and mix together until they're well blended alrighty my friends I'm through stirring up my batter see how nice and whipped that is and silky perfect there's a couple more things we gotta add to it our diced apples and one cup of chopped walnuts and I toasted them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes and fold these in. Oh, and that's like apples and cinnamon. It's like a warm blanket. Oh, don't this look good? It's not even baked yet. Look at the apples and the walnuts. It smells like fall up in here. I love baking pound cakes. They're so simple, easy, and tasty. Alrighty, my friends. Our cake batter is complete. Now we're ready to pour it into our bun pan. We're going to pour it in the 10 inch bun pan. And this is my grandmother's cast iron bun pan. And I spread it generously with baking spray. Or you can grease it with butter and flour. Alrighty, so now I'm going to shake it. And bang it to get the air bubbles out. Alrighty, now we're going to place our cake in a cold oven. That's right, sugar, in a cold oven. That's why all of our ingredients was cold. And then when we put it in the oven, set it to 350 degrees. And we're going to let it bake for about one hour. And I'll bring you back. Alright, my friends, I have taken my cake out of the oven. Mm, and it smells incredible. See how nice and golden brown that is? So now I'm going to let it rest in the pan for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to remove it from the pan and put it onto my cake stand. And while that's cooling, let's go ahead and make our caramel glaze. In my medium saucepan, I have my fire over medium heat. I add in a half a cup, which is one stick or eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. And then to our butter, we're going to add in one cup of packed light brown sugar. A pinch of salt, a fourth of a cup of my favorite milk, evaporated milk, and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Give it a quick stir. And we're going to let it cook until the butter melts and the sugar dissolves. All right, my friends, and just that quickly. Our caramel is complete and off camera I poured it into my bowl so now we're going to let it cool completely. I lined my cake plate with some wax paper for easy cleanup. The cake is nice and cool and the caramel is nice and cool. We're ready to give the cake some sugar. I'm just going to drizzle the caramel right on top. OMG, that just look good. My mouth's watering. So now we're going to gently remove the wax paper. All right, my friends, there you have it. Semi-homemade caramel apple bunt cake, a.k.a. pound cake. Doesn't that look good? So now I'm about to fix me up a plate and I'll give it a taste. All right, my friends, I have fixed me up a plate and I'm serving it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Oh yeah, beautiful texture. Mm-mm, look at that. Have a bite. Mmm. The cake is moist, and the apples and walnuts are nice and tender. And I can taste the cinnamon and the spices in the cake. 
And that camera glaze is out of this world. Honey, you can't tell this is from a box. This is marvelous, my friends. Please give this recipe a try. This is Urban Ella Biden. Grab me a little ice cream. Mm-mm. Yum o. -oh. Caramel apple bunt cake licious. My friends, I want to thank all y'all for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. Also, follow me on social media. Facebook, Ellen's Homemade Delights, and Instagram at Ellen Delights. And don't forget to hashtag Ellen's Homemade Delights and the purchase a cookbook along with your picture. Please send me an email. Ellen's Homemade Delights at gmail.com. I would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipe. And I'll see you next time. Let's eat and much love.